Arcade Heroes. Following the Aliens Armageddon release earlier this year, the next light gun shooter to come along from Raw Thrills is Jurassic Park. This is based upon, but not a direct retelling, of the original Jurassic Park movie release from back in the 90s. This means that no likenesses from the original characters, nor their voiceovers or lines, are found in the game. The version found at the show was not a final cabinet or the final software, so things might change between now and when the game is released in 2015. As such, the software that was there does not really get into any storyline. It looks like you're some nameless, armed-to-the-teeth mercenaries who are supposed to save each of the major dinosaurs, which includes a Triceratops, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Spinosaurus. You do this good work by blasting every dino you come across, since they are trying to eat you. The motion was developed in-house and used an airspring-based system along with some extra shakers inside of the seat to produce special effects, such as the footsteps of the T-Rex, which is handled pretty well, I should add. This is a mounted gun design on both cabinets where it has two triggers. One is the button for your normal shots, and the one at the thumb is for your grenades. The game itself, as you can see, features ideas from Terminator Salvation, Aliens Armageddon, and Let's Go Jungle or Dead Storm Pirates. One difference is that there's no co-op shot that you get by pointing both of your target reticles at the same place. There are weapon power-ups like Frostbite, Shockwave, and Titan. You can also collect Amber for extra bonuses. Graphically, the game is an upgrade from some of the other in-house stuff Rothrills has done like Snowcross or Super Alpine Racer. The game's colorful and with some good textures and 3D models, as well as animations. Given that this is still in the prototype stage, though, things can change. Hopefully that will mean that an occasional frame rate drop and some enemy pop-up issues are resolved that I noticed. Aside from that, the game does generally run at 60 frames a second. As it is, I would put it between Terminator and Aliens on the graphical scale. Voice acting isn't as bad as some light gun games tend to be these days, but it's not stellar either. The other sounds for the game are quite good, especially on the T-Rex sequences. You'll be able to shoot and save the dinosaurs in early 2015. Stay tuned to the Arcade Heroes YouTube channel for more videos from IAPA 2014. Thanks for watching.